We're two hitchhikers. We met while hiking Mount Baldy with mutual friends, wasted no time, got engaged on a frozen alpine lake, got hitched, and have been adventuring together since. We're embarking on a new adventure of living big in a tiny home. Let's see how this goes. Adventure awaits. <laughs> a heart speed. Last week, we focused on leveling out the future garden bed area and established the start to a strong windbreak for it. With the weather being so pleasant, we jumped at the opportunity to try out a project we've had on hold since winter began. We have to take the windows of opportunity where we can. Well, today we have a little bit of wood to break down. We've got all these logs here and we are going to be breaking them into more usable pieces of lumber. So we've got to make a makeshift table and get it there in between those shipping containers because that pad is level. We need a level surface. So here we go. It's a beautiful day. We're supposed to hit 60 today. So surprise, surprise, we're not moving rocks today. Actually, not moving rocks. The point of this project is actually to break these down and these will hopefully be the frames for our future garden beds. This project, to move along quickly, I'm going to teach you how to operate the machine so you can bring the logs over to me so that I can cut them. He was just kidding. I'm not doing that. We placed these logs here towards the end of last summer just so they could get seasoned and dry out. But now over the winter time, once we move this log, you can see that an animal has uh, utilized this for its home. So there's some little burrowing animals here under the logs. Hopefully we're not disturbing too much of their, their little habitat. But these are our logs, we gotta use them. the stump off we're going to position the stump to where I can get four sides out of this log and then we'll have a hopefully a four by four or a four by six post come out of this this is the plan <laughs> Quarters. So Ruben had to quickly make some adjustments right now to account for the tree actually getting thinner as it gets taller, right? Now he's at one and three quarter inches.
Like it? Yeah. I'm hooked. Let's do it. Now I got to adjust these. Adjust it way down. of trial and error today with getting this lumber milled, but we did it. We got a whole tree milled and these are each about nine feet long and they range in width from, I think eight feet, eight feet, eight inches to about 12 inches. So they're currently live edge. We have to load all of this up in his truck and then haul it over towards the casita. And there we're going to finish it off and hopefully lay the groundwork for at least one garden bed. And that will give us an idea if we're moving this project forward in the right direction. So we've got to get things cleaned up right now because the sun is going down. We have maybe about 45 minutes left before the sun totally sets. So um, a successful day. This is really cool. And Ruben, you the man. Yay. <laughs> Ah, this is gorgeous. finally has her vet appointment to get her lost eye socket sutured closed. Being that they have to anesthetize her, she won't be able to eat breakfast, so we cut our work short a little bit just to give her a good meal and a cozy evening before her big day. Seems like an appropriately peaceful morning for her upcoming procedure. She has no idea. adventure here this morning and she's in her favorite spot <laughs> uh, we're actually headed to the vet if all goes well hopefully she will get her her eyes sutured up and then she'll be able to venture outside with a little less uh, stress because then we won't have the chance of any dirt or infection getting into that one eye that she lost and it's hard to think that just a couple of months ago we had this little kitty on our doorstep just asking for help, missing an eye, half starved, and uh, she is doing great. And to tell you the truth, I'm a little nervous. I'm so attached to this little fur ball here, but I know she'll be fine. She's in good hands and this is for the best, so we won't be seeing her tonight. Hopefully we'll be able to pick her up in the morning. And she has no idea what's about to happen. She just thinks she's going along for a little adventure to town. Well, she is, but ignorance is bliss, right? Hi, little Ray. Come here, sweets. Come here. It's not animal inside, so we're gonna put this on you just in case you get a little freaked out. Ready? 
it's your big day. I'm gonna miss you. It's gonna be all better. I'm gonna get that eye sutured up. A few weeks ago, I saved a cabbage stump to see if we could propagate some roots. I added some natural fertilizer to a bowl of shallow water and let it sit in the sunny windowsill. It's now a good time to transfer it to some soil. You can actually see a previous cabbage I propagated. This one was from about two months ago, and that one actually looks to be doing pretty well. We may end up with a few good heads from that one. So let's see how this one does. little Ray up. Uh, the house was very quiet without her last night. Uh, Ruben and I just were not fans of the quiet house. Kind of strange how that happens. But uh, yeah, everything should be A-OK. -okay. There was no news from the vet, so typically there's only a call if there is something not ideal happening. So I assume everything's okay. But anyway, it's time to pick her up and I'm excited to see her. Well, she's doing okay. They said she refused to eat because she likes her own food, but she's moving around, albeit a little slow, but we're gonna get her home and get her comfy. The doctor said she actually had what appeared to be an underdeveloped eyeball, which left an open socket, which left her susceptible to infection. If this is the case, it's highly likely that her mother abandoned her due to her being a health risk to the rest of the kitten family. Another appropriate moment letting us know that all will be okay with little Ray. We just need to focus on keeping her calm and inside for the next 10 days. Do you want it overhanging a bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Just up right here. Let's secure it. Staple them. I'm going to use staples. So we're just going to. Hmm. Out. <laughs> you can get to the edge? I can get to the corner corner. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, eight and a half, cool. Want me to hold it? Um, either side, yeah, yeah, hold, it. It, hold it down hard. Uh, can you get me a Put the pit on it, Dave. Pit on it, Chachi. <laughs>
There it is. One tree made one garden bed. Babe, this is incredible. Yeah. You build around lumber, you build it. We. I was a good assistant. Very good assistant. <laughs> and we got a whole, like, a big garden bed. Yeah. Four feet by eight feet. Oh my gosh. Okay, this helps to plan things so much better now that I have a visual of how it actually is going to look and then just going down that way. I really like how we save these to use them as the end. It's just a nice... Yeah. Well, the fact that they actually it's a nice did. natural touch. It this worked out perfectly. As a lot of so far, yeah, here. we had no idea. <laughs> things hmm. just come together. It takes a long time, but things just come together. Yes, they do. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Mm. That is so cute. It's getting chilly. Yeah, we gotta clean up. Yes, and we've got Yeah, much to do. Hooray! Thank you! <laughs> and it's still daylight. We can yes. go inside and relax before it's pitch dark, assuming we can clean up in time. Little Ray is getting better day by day, and the expected eye swelling seems to be going down as well. She's slowly starting to enjoy more and more playtime, and her appetite is increasing. Soon she'll be well enough to venture outside yet again. Ooh, what is this? I got something from Oma and Opa. The Leech Line project is slowly continuing as we get green lights to proceed forward. Well, family, that wraps up this week's update. We're expecting some rain and snow again, so we'll see what we can get done around here. Check back next week for updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.